like and subscribe right now for amazing luck for the next week. What's up guys and welcome back to Top 10 Speed. In today's video, we're taking a look at 15 YouTubers who are behind the voices in popular movies. You will be shocked by Salish Matter's appearance in a movie, so stay tuned for that. Number 15, Logan Paul. Logan Paul was actually a part of this movie called Baywatch, which actually is probably one of the biggest movies of all time. Logan actually was like this big, bad character who thought he was kind of like a Chad or something, who thought he was super cool. He actually ended up trying to make fun of someone and instead got kicked out and roasted. This right here is what I like to call instant karma. I don't, ugh. No one wants to see that. Take it off. Okay, yeah, 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 of course. Ooh! Wow, nice nipple froze, bro. Damn! <laughs> Does anyone have a weed whacker? <laughs> we got a comedian on the line. What's your name, funny guy? I'm Zane. You're Zane? Why don't you step out of my line, Zane? Okay. <laughs> okay. You need to understand one thing, Zane. We're a family here, a team, and we support each other. You're out. Come on, I'm, I'm Zane. Get the f my beach. Okay. Number 14, Ryan's World. Ryan was actually acting, well, voice acting as his own character. Last year, he literally launched his own TV series, and it's called Ryan's World Island Adventures. He actually went and voice acted his own character in the show, and I'm not gonna lie, he did a pretty darn good job, and that is impressive. Flowers! Wait, Alpha, what? We should be careful. We don't know what dangers might be lurking in the jungle. You're right. Best to be on high alert. What if you think this is crazy? You will not believe what happens to Salish. So stay tuned. In the next clip, there's this crazy twist where Ryan actually does something insane. And family? Yeah, have you seen anyone? Well, you see, unfortunately, no. I see. Number 13, KSI. This is crazy, you guys, because KSI literally acted in his own movie, and it was actually with another big famous YouTuber. This movie was actually called Laid in America. It was about these two cool guys from England who thought, well, we're gonna go experience the American education system. They kind of wanted to live that crazy lifestyle of the American students. And I'm gonna be honest, he did pretty well. And you gotta see how young he looks in this as well. What's up, you waking son of Jeremy T, and I'm letting you guys know that I am starring in a movie called Laid in America. Wait, hold on. I'm wait, I'm also in the you're not the star, we both are co-starring. Uh no, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm like the main dude. No, 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 dude, dude, dude. You're in my house. They told you to come film this intro with me telling them that we're both the stars. So. Okay, it's 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 KSI. Let's start the Two friends, one night, one mission. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. um, um. KSI. Duncan. Tabitha is a complete blob. What's that? Basic last option bet. Number twelve. Jojo Siwa. All right, you guys. Jojo Siwa is known as being that girl. But Jojo Siwa was actually a voice actor in the movie Angry Birds 2, voice acting a character named Jay. Jojo did a really good job, and you probably wouldn't have been able to tell it was Jojo unless you see this clip. It says, and then Jojo Siwa agreed to do a voice. Mommy, did you get my picture? Did you get it, Mom? She's got so much energy and it has this little raspy voice, and I think it just makes her pop. <laughs> I was just so happy because I've never done a feature film before. So what better way to jump into the feature film world than the most adorable and awesome animation ever. Red here has got your back and your front and your sides. And my floof? Yeah, even your cute little floof. Number 11, Colleen Bollinger. So this is super cool, you guys. Colleen actually voice acted in a Disney movie. Colleen is actually the person behind Miranda Singh's YouTube channel as well. And her dream was to star in a Disney movie. And she got that opportunity to actually voice act in a Disney movie. And that movie was in Ralph Breaks the Internet. 
This is insane, and this is super cool for Colleen. I'm in a Disney movie. What? <laughs> I'm so excited. So I am in Ralph Breaks the Internet. It's the sequel to Wreck-It Ralph. And I, they asked me to be in it so long ago and I was like, yes, 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 whatever you want, whatever you want, whatever you want. Like, cause it's been my dream. Like I have two really big dreams. Like I have a lot of little dreams and goals, but like one of them is to be on Sesame Street. Like I really want to be on Sesame Street. And another one is to be a Disney character, or like voice a Disney, anything at Disney. I had always wanted to do that. And so when they asked me to come do it, I was like, yes. And it's a cameo, but what a crazy thing is, is that like, I'm not voicing a random character, I'm voicing myself, like, which is even cooler than like doing a Disney character. Like I, there's a Disney me, like they made a Disney cartoon me, which is so wild. And I didn't think that was gonna happen. Number 10, Dan TDM, Jacksepticeye, and Pokimane. So you guys, all these YouTubers promoted a new big movie. So it's actually about an NPC who actually realizes he's inside of a video game. And your favorite YouTubers are in this. Let's take a look. <laughs> I haven't talked about this really that much at all, apart from on stream. But I am in a movie with some other creators called Free Guy. A Ryan Reynolds and Jodie Comer movie. Who the hell knows who this blue shirt guy is? I've never seen anything like this. Blue shirt guy is trending everywhere. I think he's for real. Blue shirt guy is like a symbol. Just who is this guy? He's leveling up crazy fast by being the freaking good guy. He's on a mission. Some people are saying that blue shirt guy has literally come to life. Number nine, PewDiePie. PewDiePie was in the movie Star Trek. Yeah, you guys, I bet you didn't know that, but PewDiePie actually helped create Star Trek. And he literally wrote some of the scenes. Think about that. Star Trek is one of the biggest series of all time. And, well, our favorite YouTuber was a part of it. You gotta take a look at this. I said it. Mr. Worf. What's up? Fire. Fuck you! Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Took you long enough to get here. Ten years to come to my house. Huh? What's the matter? You don't like my house? My stink. That's right, it stinks. I didn't ask. No favors from you. Don't stomp around me, talking about your pride. What about my pride, Nick? What about my pride? At least you didn't have a pride. I didn't know pride and you didn't have nothing. Legs are going and nobody's nothing. Guys comes out for me to fight. Big deal. Want to fight? Yeah, I'll fight. I would want to fight the big fight. You know what's going to happen to me? You know what's going to get that? I'm going to get that. And you want to be a ringside to see it. Number eight, Ellen DeGeneres. So if you didn't know this, you guys, besides Ellen just having an absolutely huge YouTube channel and TV on her own, she was actually a voice acting in part of one of the biggest movies of all time, Nemo, Finding Nemo. She is actually Dory in Finding Nemo. Once you hear Dory's voice again, you'll kind of come to realize, oh my goodness, that was Ellen. Please. All I know is that I miss them. I really, I really miss them. I, I didn't even know what that felt like. <gasps> oh my goodness, Nemo, are you okay? Great. Yes, great idea. You take me to find him. Why didn't I think of that? Come on. No, 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 no. if I just take your tag, I can take your place in the transport truck, then you can go back inside and find your family. All you have to do is just give me the tag. What tag? There's a, oh, there's a tag on my fin. How did you forget your Number seven. Yes Theory. So inside of Yes Theory, it's a team of multiple people, but Yes Theory, a man named Thomas actually acted with Will Smith in the movie Bad Boys. Yeah, Yes Theory did a collab video with none other than Will Smith. And actually one of the team members named Thomas got invited to act in the newest Will Smith movie, Bad Boys. This movie was released back in 2020, but this scene with Thomas was actually cut from the movie. So this is a super rare behind the scenes footage. The last stick, uh -huh, you see, in the shop of Will and Joey Patrion. <laughs> hey, can I have this? Anything else? No. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. One more time, one more time. Anything else? No. <laughs> I can watch that. It like was a good times. reaction. Come on, bro. Come on now. I'm happy for you, bro. Number six, Sunday. 
This one is pretty darn cool, you guys. So Sunday actually voice acted in a Minecraft movie. Basically, a few years ago, you guys, Sunday actually ended up reaching 6 million subscribers. This guy's got tens of million subscribers now. So he is a beast in the YouTube scene. He actually ended up hiring an animation company called Toothpaste Animation Studios, where they actually went and created an awesome video of celebrating Sunday's achievement of hitting 6 million subs. He actually ended up voice acting in it. And let me show you the clip. 360 no scope your foot. Hashtag 360 foot. Foot. Hey foot. Hey foot. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. And I'm like, it's better than yours. I can teach you, but I'll have to charge. Sir, the people are ready for you now. This is a public service announcement. Having birthdays are really good for your health. Statistics show that the people who have had the most birthdays live the longest. Number five, Katy Perry, Demi Lovato, and Julia Roberts. These are all celebrities in the movie Smurfs. Many celebrities were also active on YouTube, like Katy Perry, Demi Lovato, Julia Roberts. They all have YouTube channels, and they all were a part of the new Smurfs movie. They voice acted some of the Smurfs, which is crazy. Wonder how much that would have costed. You are just like me. Then why are we going so slow? Nice shot. Let's go. We are certainly going to do some thinking about what we did. We're Smurfs. We do the right thing. Wow, wow, wow. I am Smurf Willow, leader of the Smurfs. This is called an introduction. Girls, protection mode. That's clear. Not so fast, Papa Thing. Whatever you say, Papa Thing. Thank you. Number four, Preston and Brianna. So Preston and his wife, Brianna, voice acted in a super awesome animation. A lot of fans got suspicious after seeing it because in the movie, Preston played a scientist that's trying to create a baby. So what they thought was, wait a minute, is Brianna pregnant? Is this their way of literally telling all of us? But, well, let's see what happens. Come on, little guy. You can do it. It's... It's alive! Oh my god. He's adorable. Oh, he sure is. Huh? Cactus Jones, what are you doing here? I missed you. We just spent all day together at the boat show and playing Magma Ball. Not enough! You know, you're gonna have to accept me not being around all the time now that I'm a father. Here, you wanna hold him? I'm thinking of naming him Baby Preston. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a great idea. Right now, things are about to get super crazy, and you're about to see the biggest plot twist of all time. Keep watching. Being a parent is a lot harder than I thought. Preston, what's all the noise? What's going on here? Shh, he's raided the candy stash. Who has? Well, you know how I said that I wanted to have a baby? We never had this conversation. Oh, right. That was with Cactus Jones. Well, I decided that we were ready to raise a child together. Didn't you think you should talk to me about that first? Well, I didn't want to bother you with something as small as having a child together. Preston! Yeah, so anyway, point being, you're a mom now. What exactly are you trying to say? <laughs> Number three. Dan and Phil. So Dan and Phil were actually part of a really big movie called Big Hero 6. This is actually crazy because we're about to get some of the craziest behind the scenes footage of all time. Yeah, I'm not lying to you. We're about to see everything behind the scenes. We even get to see them voice act. Take a look. Chipton Studios, the time has come. Let's do this. Hello, I am Baymax. Me and Phil have been asked to voice two characters in Big Hero 6. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just having like an internal meltdown. <laughs> like, 
You're in a Disney movie. When I found out this was happening, I skipped around the house. I was like, are you sure you didn't mean to CC Tom Cruise instead <laughs> of Dan in this email? You gave me a heart attack. Clear. No, 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 no. It's just an expression. Technician one and two. I have a guy with brown hair. Yeah. If I kind of just did this, I... Things just keep getting better, and they end up showing something crazy at the end of this, so you cannot miss it. Let me share that with you right now. Mine's slightly receding and older than me. <laughs> I have been living as male technician one for like a week and a half now. The director said if there's exclamation marks, I have to give it my all. I was just extremely excited to come to the studios and see how the whole thing is put together. There's quite a lot of words in this one, so if I get it wrong 19 times, then just forgive me in advance. And it turned out that we'd be stood in front of a microphone in front of a giant projection of the movie. Yeah, I was terrified. We've lost all contact with the pod. Sir, we've picked up a slight irregularity in the magnetic... Hi. We had Rick the director there, and we watched instant criticism. Let's try it again with a little more projection. Field breach, abort. The magnetic containment field is down. It's breaking up. That was perfect. Woo. Can you do it better? Uh, maybe. Number two. Unspeakable. Unspeakable voice acts in a Minecraft cartoon. So quite a long time ago, Unspeakable got invited by one of the biggest animation channels on YouTube to actually go and voice act on a cartoon series. And Unspeakable said, yes, absolutely. And it's about the best troll in Minecraft. And Unspeakable does a really, really good job. Yo, what's up, my peeps? The best troller in Minecraft, Trollmaster69, LOLs. <coughs> Unspeakable Gaming. In today's video, I am going to pull the ultimate trolls for you guys to enjoy. And no one has ever done these before, so this troll is going to take guts. This troll is going to take patience. But most importantly, this troll is going to be performed by the one and only. That's right, me, Mr. Trollmaster69, LOLs. As you can all see, I have clearly set up this complicated trap here that took me over 11 hours or years to create. Um, here we have a lever I placed perfectly in the center of this block next to the sign here that will easily fool any Minecraft player who comes near. You see, the trick is just to put diamonds on a sign and they'll be all over that like pigs following a carrot stick. Right now, we get to see whether Unspeakable's trap worked or not. Let's find out. Oh, perfect. Our first victim. <laughs> Let's hide and see how well this works. Do 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 do. Oh, hey. What's this? Hmm. Pull this for all the diamonds and totally not a trap. LOL. Okay. Ah! Number 1. Salish matter. So what ended up going down here is actually super crazy, you guys, because Salish actually was actually voice acting inside of a movie. This is really cool. And Salish literally could have been a voice actor inside of Big Hero 6. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is about to be super exciting, and I cannot wait to show you this clip. I'm going to be playing that clip for you in 3, 2, 1. Let's roll the clip. Let's get recording. Um, you're out. You're out. I gotta go? Bye. Yeah. Goodbye. Sorry. We gotta do what we gotta do. Oh. You're the boss. You're the boss, so gotta go. Okay, I'll be out. So goodbye. Hey, John. We find it. Oh, that sounds good. Dad takes photos of us for his channel. Oh, you saying too? Aw. If you ship us, will we sell your sink? <laughs> sail or sink? So like, imagine a boat. The boat either sails or it sinks. When we did the dip in the middle of Main Street, Jordan thought I kissed her and he jumped to his feet. How do you feel about everything? Feels amazing. Everything's done and it sounds amazing. All right, guys, let's do it. Come on, let's do it. No way. That moment. Let's do it. Okay. Everybody shipping us, do we ship too? Everybody shipping us, wanna know it's true? Everybody shipping us, maybe we're just friends. Well, there you have it, you guys. If you enjoyed today's video, go down below and hit that subscribe button. And also hit the like button and tap on another video you see on the screen right now to watch more videos just like this one. And I'll see you over in that video.